I have one more question and, you know, all the ladies are free to chime in, but I sort of wanted to pose this to Jasmine because, um, she's, uh, she's a legend in her own mind, I guess. Um, what is, what is your best, what is your best solution for men today? Because you've openly criticized, um, people that have offered solutions. You've said a lot of their solutions are wrong. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're, would you say they're disconnected from the world? So what would your solution be to the differences that the sexes right now have, the divide, you know, the opinions that men have of women, the opinions that women have of men that, that keep them apart? What is your solution to all this? Because, I mean, you must have put some thought into that. Yeah, and I, I, I'm going to steal from Richard Reeves here. Um, one thing is I think we need to reverse that. Like the education gap has not only like completely gone away, but it's reversed. And so we need more men to be able to like starting men one year later because their they, their brains develop later than us. I think that could change a lot of things, getting men more into heal um, health, education, administration, literacy jobs, um, especially as with AI automation and stuff, those like brute kind of like factory type jobs are not going to be around anymore. I think men, just like women, we've put such a push for women to uh, find more value in themselves other than being at home and being a homemaker. I think we do need to put a push for men to realize that their role is a breadwinner and their, how much money they have and how physically strong they are, that they are more than those things. And they are they have value inherently as a man, as a person, instead of just those few factors. So those are a couple things that I, I, I push really hard for. Um, yeah. Have you seen any of those work in real life, like in action? I haven't seen what you guys say work in real life either, but yeah, I mean, I do know that, uh, You're talking to two men that live it. And there has been these policies pushed. Jasmine, are you listening? You're talking to two men that live it. Uh, okay. I also have hundreds of men in my community that also live the exact yes, same okay, life and yes, have very good relationships I mean. with women. You're, it's like being in a hospital and being like, all the people I see are sick. Yeah, because you have a show where this kind it's going to attract that kind of man. So I understand that. But you're the single one that's not in a relationship. Moff and I are are fine. We've got hundreds of guys in our community that are doing just fine. How we can help men and how I utilizing our skills and tools. So I'm asking you how your skills and tools have panned out. You haven't seen them pan out. Well, I have. If you look, if you let me even pull up the book. I can give you examples of when I don't they need a book. I'm asking push for when when we I mean you can't even help. use yourself as an example. We, when we use these, well, am I not a man? What am I trying to? If you guys are saying you're a man, you are you giving no, me? No, I'm a, asking you for solutions for the sexes, for men and women and to I bring think them together. Policy positions. What we've seen is that when those policy positions have been implemented, it has seemed to improve <clears> the lives of men by quite a bit. Yeah, you're talking about the college education that sort of draws them into the 20 year statistics with, you know, no, 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 I'm talking about, I'm talking about successful it, over the 20 years, was it? No, I'm saying it's helpful to men to, to, to get educated, to have access to better paying jobs, to also why so they can be married for 20 years and be miserable. They're I can't hear you. You're like breaking up. I don't so know. So they could be married for 20 years and be miserable. Why are they miserable if they're see you're just making shit up? I don't know how to answer this question for you. How am I making it up if it's here in a statistic that I pulled up? Well, first of all, link me that study, but I don't think that they're necessarily all miserable. You said what two they're the study not in is by Aceto and Aaron so does long-term relationship. Can you shut up for a minute so I can finish talking? No. You're so annoying. You invited me on. I was Does down a long-term relationship love kill relationship. romantic love. Why? Would That's you the title of the study. You, go, you asked me for the title. I'm giving it to you. Okay. Uh, well, I can't my link point, a piece of paper, Jasmine. And, and, and That's why I'm reading you the title. And the statistic shows that men who are educated or men who have better options in the in the economy <sighs> are worse off in marriage because that's the advice I was. Just I've never done this before, but I kicked a guest. I had to do it. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.